Previously on Cat Clips. One day, while the cats were playing outside, Tuck eavesdropped on some birds. Boots had a close encounter with a bee bush, and Trey suspected the ever-growing flock of feathers overhead might belong to the dark forces. Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Cat Clips! I don't know which is worse, swarming birds overhead or strange noises in the bushes. Because whether I'm out in the open like this or hidden behind one of those trees, I'm sure I'm about as safe as walking roadkill. Just like Justin Bieber in his new Ferrari. It's probably only a matter of time before something hits me. You got any idea what made that loud noise before? I suppose it could have been a squirrel snapping a branch. Or maybe it was another earthquake. I just can't believe it was the dark forces. I mean, how did they know we were outside? Oh my, I see they've started collecting on the telephone lines. And the neighbor's dead tree, look at that. It's like something out of that Alfred Hitchcock movie. You mean the birds? No boots, I mean dial M for murder. Of course I mean the birds. All right, all right, don't get all psycho on me. What are you doing? I'm looking for possible escape routes. And we should check for good hiding places, too. Because knowing our Terra Nova will give us a definite advantage if that flock of feathers ever begins their attack. Good advice. Of course, we could always try going inside as well. Too late for that, I'm afraid. Our owner went back inside to answer the phone. He has no idea about the birds. I'm just glad Tippy isn't out here. Because at least we won't have to worry about her getting hurt. That's for sure. We don't need any delicate females out here giving us a... <laughs> what? What is it? Did you find something? Sorry. False alarm. I thought it was a bee. Well, as long as I'm over here, I might as well find a better vantage point. I can't believe how many birds there are. You don't suppose they're all in town for a convention or something, do you? Yeah, probably the local cat show, which it appears we're the stars of. I'd better go find Trey and Boots, because if these birds are from the Dark Forces, we need to be prepared. Wait, you can't go! What if they attack? Or swoop down and carry you off like those winged monkeys in the Wizard of Oz! Winged monkeys? That would be awesome! Hey, I think I found another crack from that earthquake. Only a couple more of these and we may be able to apply for landmark status. But I digress. Gesundheit! I was trying to figure out a way to open this door so I could let you all in, but there doesn't seem to be any way to push it from down here. And I know you can't use your magic because for some stupid reason your powers don't allow you to open doors. Which is almost as bad as running for president and then refusing to explain your controversial views. I mean, why all the roadblocks? I take it you're referring to Sarah Palin? No, Michelle Bachman. Who? Same idea, different hairstyle. Oh, right. Well, maybe you should try getting our owner to open the door. I mean, if we can avoid a bloody battle, shouldn't we try at all costs? I don't think our government can afford more relief funds right now. Okay, I'll go get our owner. And I'll go find Boots and Trey. Though I must admit, I'm a little nervous about this. I'm really quite a pacifist at heart. I wonder why there aren't any birds in these trees. Or the bushes either. And whatever was making that noise before doesn't seem to be around. I bet it was a squirrel, stupid scavengers. They're like the pirates of the Terra Nova. Just love that name, Terra Nova. Hope the show's good. But at least I found a good hiding spot. Because this way, I'll be able to monitor the birds within the protective confines of a bushy hydrangea. Oh, there's Mr. Trey. Hey, Mr. Trey, what do you make of the tornado of challenge overhead? Well, you I... You think they're with the dark forces? Uh, do we need to be preparing for battle right now? Ta hey, I... this is the porch door. Maybe we could open that. Well, I... Oh, no, probably not. Is it too late to take out a life insurance policy? One question at a time, okay? Sorry, I just don't want to disappoint anyone. All the guardians, I mean. And Tippy, and you, and... Hey, look! There's a little opening behind the flower pot. It might lead to a bunker or a bomb shelter. Well, Boots probably couldn't fit through it, but you and I could. Oh, um, thanks for 
the offer, but I was really just hoping you'd open this door for the other cats to... Oh, okay. Well, that didn't really go as planned. <laughs> Did you just smell Tippy? What? I just got a whiff of her. That's really inappropriate. No, with my super sensitive scent. It's one of my many gifts. You also have the gift of gab, which, believe me, is no present. Oh, thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Sounded like one. You said I was gifted. <laughs> yes, you're definitely gifted. Now come on, let's find Boots. It's a tracker bird. Probably sent out ahead of the flock to help identify us. So maybe it's not us they're really after. Maybe they got the address wrong. I doubt it. It's the beginning of the end. I can feel it. Well, if that's true, then it's definitely time to stop and smell the roses. Or flowers. Or whatever happens to be nearby. Just smell it already. You're right, Tuck. Even if the end does seem imminent. T Intimidant. Anyway, you should still take time to stop and smell the twigs and sticks and mm, scratchy. Ooh, this would make a great emery board. I don't think the end is near. I mean, we haven't even seen anyone graduate on Glee yet. They definitely wouldn't end the world before that happens. Right, because that's so crucial. I don't think either of you really understand. Uh-oh. Looks like something just happened. It's getting brighter. They're starting to fly in our comfort zone. They'll never find me under here. I'm as safe as a... Ah! 